Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, we're going to learn about how we can run Maven Selenium project from Jenkins server. In the last session, we have seen how we have triggered Selenium Java project in Jenkins server. We will see how we're going to trigger the Maven project. So to create this, we need some of the things like Maven project and running that Maven project from command prompt and creating a workspace in Jenkins server and triggering from the Jenkins server. So let's see step by step. So let's get started. Let me open Eclipse IDE. And this is my project, which I have previously demoed in a couple of sessions in uh, TestNG listeners. So I'm gonna use the same project here. So this is a TestNG project and which is a Maven type. So I'm gonna right click to this project and simply do a run as uh, let me see this loading so i will gonna use this run as may one test so it has started the logs it will trigger our job so whichever test it is under my test in dot xml that particular test case will be triggered so let's give little more time to see what it's going to do it has opened a page and then it has immediately terminated so it is to do with listeners so it has performed uh, listeners and it uh, given all the logs here similarly we will do from the command prompt so how we're going to do is so I need to right click to this project and I'm gonna go to this properties and I will go to this location where my project is there. So from there, I'm gonna simply go to this project inside and here I'm gonna type CMD. And if you are in anywhere in the Windows system, you need to navigate to your project repository and then you can use this MVN, so MVN space you can use mvn clean test you can use mvn test or you can simply do mvn install so i'm going to use clean test so this will clean entire project which will take all the required build path or build plugins from uh, mvn repository and it will trigger my job so i'm simply going to hit the enter button so let's give a time and see so all the logs are coming up here so it has started test again. It will open our Chrome browser and then it will perform all the logging and then it will print them and it will terminate. So you can see build is success. And in case if you wanted to know how to configure Maven, so you can refer to my previous sessions where I have created or provided in detail session on how we can install Maven in Windows operating system and also in Eclipse IDE. So this all done. So let me, I need to now trigger my Jenkins file. So for that, I will go to the, my Jenkins war file location. So wherever my war for location is there, I'm gonna simply type CMD and open this and type for Java hyphen jar Jenkins, then enable future. So simply start the server. Let's give a time to start the server. And if you have any questions or issues that you are facing in between, you can post in the comment section. And this is a, one of the interview asked question also, how you gonna trigger Maven project from Jenkins. So you can explain all these things and you will get placed for sure. And it is a fully up and running now. And let me open the Chrome or any browser that you have. Simply type localhost 8080. So the port number which I have set in the Jenkins server is 8080. And this is where I need to log in. So you can set username password while installing the Jenkins server. So there's a Jenkins dashboard. So this is a Java session we have discussed in the earlier session. Now I'm gonna use this new item. 
and I will say this as selenium underscore maven so this is a freestyle project and click OK right I'm gonna provide this for demo maven project right so I'm gonna use my local uh, repository location for that I will use this advanced options and use this custom workspace and I will go to my project location where I have so this is not this is part of system directory two. let me copy this location here so this is my project location and this is local right so I now need the source code management and this build triggers, build environments, we will discuss in upcoming sessions. And in the build section, you have this option. So execute Windows batch command. So here, I'm gonna type simply MVN clean test. So this is a simple command we need to provide there. So after that, we need to apply. It will save all the workspace job and then save. So once we save, we're gonna enter into the project workspace and here you can see this build now. So I'm gonna simply click on this build now and you will see one job will be triggering here. So it has triggered one job. I'll go to there and go to the console outputs and let's see what happens. It has opened the Chrome. I think it is in background. Yeah. So it has performed tests and all the logs are printed here and build is success. So this is how we simply start our Maven project from Jenkins server. And we can use different different uh, the Maven commands too. So I can go back here and I can click on configure and i can do this we have what all options we have in eclipse ide we can try those so let me right click to the project and go to the run as and you can see here we have maven build maven uh, clean maven install so i'm gonna try maven install so let's apply and save and again, I'm gonna build again a new one. So again, it, you can see here, it is started one more job. Go to the console outputs. You can see it is trying to download all the required snapshots, drivers, and all the jar files, and it has triggered our job. So likewise, you can perform all different actions here. So if you face any such questions or any errors during your execution you can post those questions in the comment section i will help you out and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with colleague and thank you for watching